Hello everyone, this is Jozef Nagy here and in this video I am bringing you a quick tip video that I want to share with you. So first I will share this video on Patreon as an early bird video, so as a thank you for all the support on Patreon. If you are interested in uh, supporting me on Patreon, there is a video on my channel and also if you click here, the Patreon uh, button then you are brought to my patreon page just just look through i already have 26 different videos i mean not individual videos i have very more individual videos for example here i have two videos just for one part of the second simulation project yes i am already on a second full simulation project here on patreon i have also additional uh, quick tip tutorials and how you can improve your cfd work mm -hmm and also additional goodies so if you're interested just check out the tiers and hopefully maybe you can support me a little bit i appreciate every kind of help so i can create content for on patreon and also youtube okay so uh speaking of uh, as, so this is going uh, this video is going to be as early access on patreon and after a while i will release it also on youtube speaking of patrons Matt Wigmore, who was also a participant of the online international meeting for users of OpenFOAM, was also a participant there. He sent me a video that he created, and I love it. It is an awesome video where he had nine dogs. He take my, took my CF Mesh tutorial and insert and uh, multiplied the dog by nine, and then he released. A water block onto these dogs so actually he created a dog washing machine here so the dogs are very stoic they don't mind the water so it works well as you can see so if you have such videos that you created with the help of my tutorials please feel free to send it to me to my email address or share it with me on LinkedIn I am happy to watch it and also reshare it in on LinkedIn or maybe even feature it in a video like this so great video matt thank you for sending me this video okay but <laughs> let's come to the quick tip so you might know this is this, this is an open form case it's not your first time in open form so you have zero constant and system where you have your initial case setup and then you have your dot form file i like to call it the last month's open dot form previously i called it form dot form so doesn't matter you open it up in paraview and then of course you click apply by the way this is also uh, my first simulation project in on patreon where i showed uh, show you how you can create the geometry the mesh uh, steady state incompressible simulation transient incompressible simulation and multi-phase transient simulation so i have a lot of information on that but what i want to show you you load it and then you cannot visualize your initial conditions which is very annoying and i know that uh, several people are commenting in the videos below that they have this problem and i did mention it a couple of times that you have to uncheck the skip zero time checkbox here and then if you click apply then all of a sudden you have your initial conditions here uh, and you can visualize your initial conditions but in this case you always have to remember to uncheck it otherwise if you have then your simulation results and uh, you want to visualize also your initial conditions then your first time step is going to be the first picture that you visualize this is especially annoying if you are creating an animation of your simulation and then your first initial time step is missing from the animation then you have to redo it so it is not a big thing but still annoying so you have to unclick it every time you open up paraview so if i reopen it you can see that it is still checked but and this is something i just previously learned you can unclick it click apply and then there is this button here where it says save current setting as default and this is so great so if you click it then this setting is now used as default so if i close it and reopen any open form case now it is not checked 
so you don't have to worry about the skip zero time and then each time step you have you will have your or i mean in each simulation if you open them up in paraview you will have always the first time step loaded automatically so you don't have to worry about this in some cases the skip zero time checkbox does make sense if you are using coded boundary conditions but in almost uh, in 95 percent of the simulations i think an unchecked skip zero time doesn't make sense so if you struggle with this and you didn't know that you can save this as a default setting then you just have to uncheck it once save it and from that point on you will have to never worry about not being able to visualize your initial conditions okay so that was the quick tip for today it was a very short and very quick tip but i know that this is a very annoying feature that annoys a lot of people so this was the tutorial i hope that you uh, that you like this uh, tip and that you can utilize it in your everyday work with paraview with that i would like to thank you for watching and listening and i hope to see you next time.